Hello and welcome to RTC TV4. We are here at Blackadder Sports Complex in Rochester. We are at the Rochester Youth League softball game tonight. First one of the season for us that we are filming. The VFW from Rochester is taking on the Plymouth Tube team from Winnemac and there's your first out of the game for the VFW. That sends the first batter for Plymouth 2 back to the dugout. My color commentator here will get you her name in just a second. That was Kira, number the leadoff batter, playing third base. Kira had the first out of the game. And up to bat now. Up to bat now is Alyssa. Alyssa has a 1-1 one, one count. <laughs> Counts now 2 and 1. 3 and 1. And that's ball four. Alyssa takes first base. Now up to bat is Alexis, number 53. Nice strike for the VFW pitcher. Also, Stolen second base by Plymouth 2. Nice shot down the left field line, but it will be foul. She did get a hold of that one. Just barely foul. No balls, two strikes on the batter. Next pitch comes in as a, as a ball and we'll go back to the backstop. And the runner on second will get to third. That is Alyssa. So now there is one out, runner on third. Alexis up to bat with no balls and two strikes. Ball two in the Ball's a little high for the catcher and it goes to the backstop in that runner from third will score, making it 1-0 Winnemac. The count is even now at 2-2 two and two on the batter. Ball comes in a little high, full count. And that is ball four. Nice ball four did go to the fence and Alexis got to second base on that. Nice heads up play by her to just round first and go straight to second and get herself on second, setting herself up well for the batter for Plymouth two, which is Ella. That's another pass ball by the pitcher, and Alexis is on third. Still one out. Ball two. A swing and a foul ball by Ella, the number four batter for Plymouth 2. That makes the count two and one. Runner still on third and only one out. Ball high, 3-1 count. And there is ball four. Yeah. 
Runners on first and third for Plymouth two, one out. Mad up to bat. Ella will steal second base. Now runners on second and third. Nice stop by the catcher. There is a high ball by the pitcher and the catcher makes a great stop to prevent the run from scoring from third. Strike, one one count. Another ball by the pitcher that goes over the catcher's head and it will score a run, another run from third. Ball four, runners on first and third again. Ball for strike one on Chloe, number six batter. She has runners on first and second, one out. The score is two to zero, Plymouth Tube up. Plymouth Tube having a nice lead in the first inning. I think these games are mainly based off of time limits. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the name of the youth softball games in order to keep these games rolling. So score as quick as you can because if that time limit comes up, whoever's in the lead, whether they've played seven innings or not, the game will be over. Drop third strike. That was a drop third strike, but first base was occupied, so she is out. Yes. But since they threw the ball to first, the runner was allowed to score. From third when yep. she did touch when she did go through home plate. So two outs now? Yes. Pitcher trying to find her strike zone a little bit. The first inning is sometimes hard to know where the umpire is yeah, where looking his zone for the is. strike. There's a strike, making the count one and one. Up to bat now is Isabel for Plymouth Tube. Nice strike on the inside corner by VFW pitcher. Strike three and out number out three. Number okay, three. I didn't. I was making took a sure. minute to register, <laughs> but out number three. So that is the end of the top of the first inning. VFW with Plymouth Tube. Plymouth Tube is ahead by three runs. Yes. Scores yes, three that to is correct. Scores three to zero. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back.
Welcome back to the bottom of the first inning here. Up to bat now is the VFW. Their first batter is Madeline. She's also number one. She, her count is now even. That first ball got past the catcher, and that's a first strike. So the count's even at one. A bunt by number one, and she digs it down the line and is safe at first. Really nice bunt, really close to the plate. Far enough away so the catcher couldn't get it, but neither could any of the fielders. Very nice bunt, way to be a lead off there. No outs, number two, Delaney up to bat, and her first pitch comes in as a ball, and that'll put Madeline on second base. And Delaney is hit by the pitch, and that puts runners on first and second now. Good leadoffs by them, by those two batters doing their job, getting on base one by one, slowly trying to shorten the lead that Plymouth Tube got. And a double steal by VFW. Yeah, watching Delaney Strasser go into second base right there. <clears throat> Up to bat is number four, Jaden. Swing and a miss, but a good swing. That is a ball that goes back to the backstop and Madeline will come in for run number one for VFW. Starting to make a comeback here. Two and one is the count. Nice, pitch. nice outside corner strike. Another one to the backstop. That'll bring Delaney Strasser home. Teams are short on players tonight, and looking out in the uh, Plymouth Tubes outfield, there is only one outfielder? Uh, yes, you are right. So that makes There's it only seven players all on the field? Yes. That's tough, especially if there's a hard hit ball to the left field. Yep. That one will be hit right to the third baseman. And not in enough time just, to go to first. Just rolled slow enough that she had more time to dig it down the line. Now to bat number seven, Emma. She's also the pitcher for VFW. Nice pitch on the inside corner. Ooh, nice bun attempt. <clears throat> Just rolls foul. VFW doing a lot of bunting. Plymouth Tube not really that aggressive on defense knowing that they have bunted mm -hmm. a few times. I'm sorry. No balls, two strikes on the batter. Nice hit. That one falls in with the one outfielder. She does make a good stop on it. But VFW will make it to third base. The ball is rolling past the third baseman so VFW will slide home. And that's a triple for the pitcher, Emma. So now the score is three to two, just like that. Nice hard hit by her. Just got a hold of that and put it in the right spot. Luckily for that single outfielder for Plymouth Tube, it was hit in a good enough spot where she could get to it in time. Is that three runs or is that only that two? That is three. three so it is three. tied at three. Yep. Okay, so the score is tied at three, VFW Plymouth Tube. Another bun attempt, trying to get that runner in. I think there are zero outs too, if I'm correct. 
Yes, you are right, yeah. So VFW on a big momentum swing here. Ball gets away from the catcher, but not far enough so that the third baseman on VFW can score. The runner on third, I guess I should say. Pulls back a bump, but it was a strike. Good pitch by Plymouth Tubes, number 53, Ella. And another pass ball. This puts VFW in the lead now. Four to three is the score. Still no outs. Do they still have the seven-run inning rule? I, I think so. Okay. I think that is, yeah. So for those of you not privy to Youth League softball, there is a rule that you can only score seven or six. I don't know if the rule has changed. Seven or six runs each inning before you are forced to switch teams. So there's kind of an inning mercy rule. Now it's back Caitlin, number 11 for VFW. Nice hard hit, just missed it. Going foul. Pass ball sends VFW. Steals second base, tries to steal, steal third, and she does. That's a double that base steal on one pass ball. Got yeah. some wheels over there. Good coaching, keeping that player running around the bases. Good pitch on the inside corner. Two strikes, Caitlin battles with another foul ball. Another foul ball for Caitlin. And third straight foul ball in a row here. Nice battle by Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin. Keeping herself in the box. Just trying to get a piece of it. And she finally does. That's hit right back to the pitcher. Quick play by Plymouth Tube. But Caitlin will get an RBI. That makes it five to three. VFW now in the lead. And first out of the inning for Plymouth Tube on defense. Nice line drive hit by Emma G. But a great play by the second baseman for Plymouth, too, but got under the glove of the first baseman. But she was there for backup and took it to first herself. Yeah, good backup move and take it all the way, knowing your first baseman was trying to get the ball. So nobody on base for VFW. They now have two outs, but the score is 5-3, to three, VFW in the lead. Oh. 
Nice pitch by Plymouth Tubes pitcher. Swing and a miss for strike two. It was a really nice swing by Chloe. Just missed it. That'll be strike three for Chloe, and that'll be the third out. At the end of the first inning, we have a 3-5 VFW leading in leading scoring. We will come back to you at the beginning of the top of the second. You're watching RTC. Start over. And we are back. We are here at the top of the second. Plymouth Tube versus VFW. Up to about now is Jade. She has a 2 2 count. And swing and miss for strike three, giving VFW out number one. Alyssa's now up to bat for Plymouth Tube. She hits a pop fly short of the third baseman. Oh. Some communication errors. But luckily, once it hit the ground, it did roll into foul territory. Very, very lucky how that happened. So Alyssa will come back up to bat. Ground ball up the middle of the field. Shortstop gets it and will not be in enough time. Alyssa tries to go to second base and will do so. Now tries to go to third base and the ball gets past the third baseman. So this could be an in the park home run. And she is not able to get tagged. So that's an in the park home run for Alyssa. Puts another one on the board 
for Plymouth Tube. Score is now five to four. Up to about now is Alexis, number 53, who is also the pitcher for Plymouth Tube. Pass ball gets back to the fence. Inside pitch, Alexis fires that towards the dugout of VFW. Just two inside for her, and she pulls that. One and one is the count. Ooh, another hard hit down the third baseline. The stand-up double for Alexis. Nice hard shot to third base. Just too hard for her to get her glove out in time, and that left fielder fields it and throws it in. Yeah, quick reaction time for sure. To stop Alexis on second. Now up is Ella. Another pass ball, and this will be close, but Alexis slides in pretty easily. Score is now tied five to five. There are no outs, one out. Who was that out? Strikeout. Strikeout. Lead off strikeout, yep. <laughs> Starting to get a little sunshine peeking out here. Using an umbrella for a windbreak currently. <laughs> and covering up with a blanket, unfortunately. Right, right. <laughs> almost. We're right. at the end of May, almost Wearing into a June. Scarf. So that'll be a dead ball. Ella heads to first base. Had to walk that off. Yeah. Hit her pretty hard. Pretty square hit. Hit in the leg, I think. So Ella shakes it off at first base. And up to bat now is number 49, Maddie. Nice outside corner strike. Two strikes in a row. Maddie's in a hole, has to foul off some pitches just to stay in there. And she does that. Takes a high inside pitch and fouls that off to stay in the box. Another foul ball. Well, 
Back inside pitch, and looks like Ella has shaken off that hit. Steal second base. Maddie's still working the count here. And after being down 0-2, she draws a walk. Chloe, number 54, now up to bat for Plymouth 2. Nice stop by the catcher. Ella will steal third base. Now Plymouth 2 has runners on the corners with just one out. Yep. Isabel up to bat. And the bun attempt is no good as it goes foul. Chloe is up to bat. Excuse me. One and one is the count. Squares to bunt, pulls it back, but it is still a strike. And Maddie will make it to second base on that one. And swing and a miss on the high pitch. That'll be out number two for VFW as Chloe heads back to the dugout. Score is five to five in the top in the top of the second inning here. Number 45, Isabel, at the plate now. She has two outs in runners on second and third. The score is tied, so scoring a run here would put them up, giving them a little bit of comfort. Yeah, two runners in scoring position, and they need all the runs they can get since they only have seven players on defense, that yep. being Plymouth Tube. So Isabel's coach going to call a timeout and give her a quick pep talk. Emma on the mound for VFW was down in that count, and she just had two quick strikes to put her back in it. And that'll be ball four to load up the bases. So, two outs, tie game, bases loaded here. Jade, number 48 for Plymouth Tube is up to bat. A short little thing, but gonna use all the power she has. Good stop by the catcher Delaney. That saved a run there for sure, catching that pitch. Mm -hmm. And swing and a miss evens the count at one. Nice pitch on the inside, but even better foul ball. So the count is even at two. Just kidding, one ball and two strikes. And that's a pass ball, is she gonna be able to tag her? Oh, the ball's dropped. Good attempt by the catcher. That was a very nice attempt. The ball was didn't get too far away from her, so she knew that she could try and get her herself, but the ball just came out of her mitt. Nice pitch. Great and pitch. Good comeback by the VFW pitcher, Emma. So the score is 6-5 to five in the top of the second inning. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back.
And we are back here in the bottom of the second. VFW up to bat. It is six to five. VFW looking to get some runs here and put themselves back in the lead. Up to bat for VFW. Let's see. Help me out here, Abs. We'll wait till she gets fully turned around. It's a five. So that was the last batter, Elena. And she did strike out for the first out of this inning. But that does bring up our, the leadoff batter for VFW. Madeline, number one. Ball on the outside corner. And that's a strike. So once again, the score is six to five here. VFW down by one run, the home team. And pop fly rolls foul. Switching to the right side with two strikes on her. And it is a ball four. She will steal second base on her steal as well. Up to bat now is Delaney. Delaney number two, the catcher for VFW. Foul ball right back at us. Somebody must have secured that camera nicely for it not to move. And third base is stolen by Madeline. So makes it makes her way around the bases pretty quickly. Runner on third base and just one out. And second strikeout of the inning brings up Jaden to the plate. Ground ball to the shortstop, and she will be able to make a throw. Great inning there by Plymouth Tube as they go almost three up, three down, just one runner on base. So the they did secure their lead with that. Score after two is six to five. Plymouth Tube in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back to the top of the third inning here. Plymouth Tube had a great last inning defensively as they were able to shut down BFW, not able to score. First inning where neither team has scored this game. So up to bat now for Plymouth Tube. Number 51, Kira, leadoff batter. Had a couple foul balls here, a good battle. And that one stayed fair. So that was Alyssa, excuse me. Alyssa's on first base. Up to bat now is number 53, Alexis. Pass ball, puts VF Plymouth Tube, excuse me, runner. Plymouth Tube runner on second base. Nice swing, but a miss. She's the one that had the hot hit down th to third baseman last yeah. time. Yeah. Also the pitcher. Mm-hmm. So both catchers working hard back there for their pitchers. No outs. And pass ball. Runner will come across home plate. Ball number four. Alexis heads to first base. This brings up Ella to the plate. One attempt, no good. Second base is stolen. Ooh. Foul ball back off the catcher's helmet. Come on, be aggressive. <laughs> Counts 0 and 2 here to Ella. And good stop by the catcher. Third base is stolen. Two and two is the count. There you go. Pop fly and caught by the third baseman. So that makes out number one for the VFW. Plymouth Tube has a runner on third base and number 49 Maddie is up to bat. Score is seven to five. Make that eight to five as the pass ball. Pass ball makes that eight runs for Plymouth Tube. Up to bat now, number 54, Chloe. Maddie steals second on that pitch. Foul 
foul ball. ball. Strike two. Ball high goes to the backstop which will put Maddie on third base. There's one out. VFW leads eight to five. I'm sorry Plymouth two leads eight to five and they have a runner on third with a chance to score more. Ball four sending Chloe to first. Close play Close there. Close play. Very nice effort by the catcher running back to the backstop to get that ball. And pitcher ready at home plate, ready to tag, but just not in time. Up to bat for Plymouth Tube is Jade. Nice stop by the catcher. That will be ball four still, sending Jade to first base. Bringing up Kira. Jade will be called out at first. I think she left, stepped off of the bag. We do must be placed on, your foot must be on first base unless you are attempting to go to second. So they did call her out, making that out number two. Number 48, Kira is up to bat and she still has a runner on third. The score is eight to five, Plymouth Tube in the lead. Strike by Emma, pitcher for VFW. Two balls, one strike. Weather has <clears throat> cleared off and gotten nicer here this evening. You can see the, the blue skies in the background and some happy clouds, not, not any scary clouds. <laughs> there was another pass ball which scored Maddie for Plymouth Tube, and that was also ball four on Kira. So now we bring up number 51, Alyssa, and Kira will steal second base on that pitch. Runner in scoring position now for Alyssa, who is up to bat. There are two outs here. <coughs> Steals third, nice throw by the catcher. Third baseman is ready and that is out number three. So we will be back with you. VFW will be up to bat in the bottom of the third. You're watching RTC TV. We'll be back.
are back here in the bottom of the third. VFW up to bat. Plymouth Tube took a bigger lead with by, sorry, making it eight to five that last inning. Emma Hottishell, number seven, the pitcher for VFW, is up to bat. She has one ball, one strike on her. She had a nice hit last time she was up to bat. And another solid hit this time as well. Just tips off the third baseman's glove. It's just a little too hot for her. And the shortstop will recover it, leaving Emma on first base. Kathleen for VFW, number three, is up to bat. Emma steals second on that pitch. And then she steals third, standing steal to third. Very nice steal. Hard, long foul ball by Kathleen. Not making it one ball, two strikes. Kathleen battling, fouling off another pitch. Just trying to score her teammate, Emma, who is on third. Strike three, which will be make it out number one for Plymouth Tube. Caitlin, number 11, up, for bat, up to bat for VFW. Pass ball, and Emma will score, making it eight to six. VFW gaining on their deficit here. Foul ball, making it strike two. I'm sorry, one ball, one strike. That was strike two. Ball two, even in the count at two and two. One out. And that will be a swing and a miss for strike three and out number two for VFW. Number 10, Emma G up to bat for VFW. Nice swing, that was a nice cut, just missed it. A strike number two. Two outs here. No one on base. And strike three. That is the third strike out of the inning for out number three. Sending Plymouth two back in the dugout to grab their bats. And we will head into the top of the fourth when we come back. You're watching RTC TV 4.
We are back in Sorry about that. We are back in Plymouth Tube is up to bat. Plymouth Tube leads eight to six. VFW got a run across that last inning. They were stuck at five for the past two innings and they did get one across, putting them down just by two. Number 51, Alyssa, up to bat now. Two nice foul balls by her. She has no balls and two strikes on her. Looks as though those pitchers are getting more comfortable with the zone and throwing in more strikes and less balls to the backstop, which is nice, getting the batters more looks. Dead ball. That'll send Alyssa to first base and bring Alexis up to bat. Both teams staying confident with their pitchers, not making a pitching change yet. Mm-hmm. And like I said earlier, they're very low on numbers. Right. I don't know how much flexibility they have in their lineup. Nice job by the catcher to keep the ball in front of her. Alyssa does still still steal third, but it did prevent her from getting across home plate because she kept the ball in front of her. So nice job by Delaney. Nice. Whoa. Solid hit by uh, Alexis. That goes all the way to the fence in the air. Easily in, in the park home she run. She will be a stand up in the park home run. Wow, you can see how wet left field is by the yes. water being kicked up by as the left fielder as she was running for the ball. That was a really solid hit. She just got right a hold of that. It was a little higher pitch, I think, than the pitcher intended, but she just took that one right to left field. Nice job. That is the pitcher for Plymouth Tube. Now up to bat. Number 52, Ella. <laughs> Swing and a miss for strike one for Ella. Again, this one by Ella. It'll go in between right center field, and she will be held up at first base. But nice contact. No, that really good smash, like you said. No outs. She is on first now, and this brings up Maddie, number 49. There it is going around their lineup really quickly. They've all seen this pitcher. This is probably their third time. And they're just getting a hold of it. Got the timing done just right. Ella stole second on that last pitch. Emma comes in with a nice strike to Maddie. Making the count one and one. Oh, might get her at oh. third. Oh, just nice job by the catcher to... It was a high ball and she almost stopped it, but it just landed right in front of her. She picked it up and it was a great throw, just um, a little short. Another run for Plymouth Tube. Starting to pick up the wind again. I guess I should have known not to jinx it. I think the umpires are uh, 
discussing the count. We had a someone with a 3-2 count, someone had a 2-2 count, and one other umpire had a 3-1 count. So I think <laughs> they got it all squared away now. Well, that's one way to do it. So they must have determined it was a 2-something count. Yep. Because that'll make ball three there. Now it is 3-2. And that'll be ball four. Still no outs if I am correct. I haven't seen any. Number 54, Chloe, is up to bat. Ball two, and Maddie will make it to second base on that pitch. Ball three, and another ball to the fence, which will send Maddie to third base. 3 0 count. Ball four. Got some papers flying around here. That's about now. Jade number 45. Nice strike. Nice pitch. Strike one. Ball one. Runners on second and third. I believe there are still no outs. Nice stop. Way to keep it in front of her or around the plate. The catcher did a good job on that one. Strike two. The count is now two and two. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That'll be the first out for the inning. <laughs> Kira, number 48, the leadoff batter is up to bat now. First pitch comes in as a strike. ball. O2 count. Runners on second and third. Ball high. Two two count. Swing and a miss for strike three. Oh, I am so sorry. Foul ball. Yes. Which was lucky because it would have been a drop third strike. Right. And it would have possibly scored a run, but she did get a piece of that, the umpire said, so she go back in the box with a two two count. Just inside, calls that ball three. Ball four, making the bases loaded. And oh. some miscommunication on the running. So we had the runner at third, went home. So that's three out. <laughs> the runner at home, the runner at third went, tried to go home. And the catcher was holding the ball, so they tagged her out. And then the runner on first tried to go to second, not knowing she had a teammate on second. And so she was tagged out by the first baseman, and that is three outs. We will be coming back to you in the bottom of the fourth. P uh, 
Plymouth Tube leads 11 to 6. We are watching RTC TV. We are back here in the bottom of the fourth inning. VFW up to bat. We have number six, Chloe, at the plate right now. She has a 1-1 count. VFW falls behind 11-6. And Chloe will have out number one with a strikeout. And quick first out there for VFW. And up to the plate now is Elena, number five. Plymouth Tubes pitcher is Alexis, number 53. She's done a nice job these last couple innings. Yeah, huge of getting, hit. Of, yeah, she had a great hit. She's had some key strikeouts, so she's definitely done a nice job for them. She also comes in with another strike for that pitch. Strike three for out number two. Two quick outs up and down, and that'll bring up number one, Madeline, the leadoff batter. Still 11 to six, VFW trying to push some runs across home plate to train. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, nice hit, but also a good catch. Great job by the second baseman all night tonight for Plymouth Very Tube. good catch. Snow coned that, but she used that other hand to keep it in there to secure that third out. That'll be it for the bottom of the fourth. It is 11 to six. You're watching RTC TV.
we are back here in the top of the fifth inning. Number 51, Alyssa up to bat. I feel like I have said these names so many times because they've yeah. just been getting hit after hit and scoring runs. And she has been up to the plate many times, doing a good job as well. Hard, long foul ball for Alyssa, who will step back in the box. A little more cheering has happened as the game has been going along. I think that they're happy about the sun coming out as well. Yep. It's a little warmer for them. It was very dreary earlier in this game. Yeah. It's only been an hour and 20 minutes so far. And uh, definitely a swing of weather for sure. Earlier in the day, looking at the weather, I didn't even know if there was going to be a possibility to play yeah, or not. Yeah, I didn't so. know how wet the fields would be from the downpours yesterday, and it ended up working out pretty well, for sure. So 11-6 to six is the score. We're in the top of the fifth inning here with Plymouth Tubes, Alyssa, up to bat. Full count. Nice pitch. And that's strike number three, throwing it down to first base just to make sure. They did say she caught it, so that is out number one. And brings up number 53, Alexis, who had our in the park home run last at bat. Yeah, that was a big smash. They had a big inning last inning, and she started it off for them. She scored a run on her in the park home run, and uh, she scored someone else and herself, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so I think she started that whole thing off. And she's on the mound for them, so she gives them all of their motivation. And yeah, big, big part of the team tonight for sure. Nice snag by Emma, the pitcher, and that's a quick out number two for VFW. Lots of letters here. I'm trying yeah, not know. to mix them up. <laughs> Ella, number 52, up to bat now. There are two outs. This is a big inning for VFW, one of their first quick innings, mm -hmm. quick two outs. Don't want to jinx them here, but they're doing a nice job. Two balls, no strikes. <laughs> and that'll be ball four, sending Ella to first base. Two outs. We're in the top of the fifth. Nice pitch. <laughs> Throw it down to second base, not in time. Pitch on the inside corner. Strike two. Ball low. Catcher throws a third base. Oh, nice oh, throw. Just very nice throw. Not quite in time. Good catch by the catcher. Ball was a little high and she stopped it and prevented the run from coming across home plate. Chloe, number 54, up to bat. Two outs. Nice hit right to the shortstop. Will she be able to make the play? Not in time. Still a nice throw, but a good play. 
That did score a run, making it 12 to 6. Two balls, no strikes. Ball four, that'll load the bases. So quick two outs and then three walks here. I think the uh, Plymouth two base runners are a little shy to run now considering their last inning debacle and confusion. Right. So Making coach sure. having to tell the runner on second to come to third that she was allowed to. Playing it safe. Leadoff batter Kira, number 48, up to bat. Nice pop fly, but to the first baseman, that'll be three outs for the VFW. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be We are back here with in the bottom of the fifth inning, 12 to 6. Plymouth Tube is in the lead. We have Delaney, number two, the catcher for VFW, up to bat now. She has no balls and one strike on her right now. And that'll be strike two. VFW looking to get some runs across the board. I think we're running low on time. Yes, time limit is two minutes to go, and I'm not sure if they call the game in the middle of the inning or if you have to finish the inning by the time the timeout, the, by the time the time has timed out. <laughs> wow, there was probably That's a an easier way to say that. <laughs> nice battle by Delaney. That is a drop third strike, and she beats it out. So that puts a runner on first. No outs. Bringing up Jaden, number four. Jaden with a nice cut. Ball goes foul. Uh, 
Nice cut. Steal by Delaney. Delaney, she will steal second on that pitch. One ball, two strikes. Nice hit. It goes to center field, and that'll score Delaney. Jaden will be held up at first base, but she does get an RBI off of that, and there are no outs, and she is on first base with teammate Emma up to bat, who had a solid hit in the first inning to right center field. Pass ball, putting Jaden on second. She will look to third, takes a big lead. Oh, Good throw. and then fourth, back and back and where she couldn't decide. It was, she's going to go back to second, but the throw got past the third baseman, but the shortstop was there for a nice backup. <laughs> so Jaden did stay at second base. Job, Emma Good with job. a big swing. Nice cut, but just under it. Another nice swing. Oh. That'll go to the pitcher. And it'll just tip off her glove. It was hit just a little too hard. So that'll move Jaden to third base, Emma to first. No outs. Okay, the score is just now seven, 12 to seven. Slowly making their way back. See if they can rally here in the last couple minutes. Time limit is up. So once three outs is over, if they have not tied the game or gone ahead, the game will be over for VFW and Plymouth Tube. But there are no outs currently. Correct, yes. And Emma did just steal second base. And a nice hit to third base by Kathleen. And Jaden will hold on third base knowing she does not have to go. And the ball was hit to the third baseman, so she stays. Emma H stays on second base. Bases are loaded now for number 11, Caitlin. Again, no outs. Scored 12 to 7. Ball low to Caitlin. VFW making it pretty exciting here in this last this last inning. And Plymouth too, probably a little nervous with not many outfielders. Yeah. If there's a ball hit to the fence in right or left field, it that will. That could clear the bases. Yes. And there is a line drive. A line drive caught by the shortstop in third girl, and Jaden on third did go home. So that'll be two outs. Just like that. She, they had a discussion as to if she tagged Emma, who was coming off of second base, but there was no tag. So it was just a double play. So a quick no outs. It's bases crazy. loaded. Looking at that, it could have easily been in one pitch a grand slam and in the park grand slam. And in the next pitch, it ended up being a double play. That was a nice catch by the shortstop. Very key catch. Big play for Plymouth Tube. Number 10, Emma G, trying to keep it alive here. Ball. There you go. Good job. Good job, Chloe. Yes. Nice. nice cut. That'll be strike three, out number three for VFW. Plymouth two will head back to the dugout. And if I'm correct, it looks as though VFW is heading to the line up. Yes, that is correct. So we have a final score of 12 to seven. Plymouth Tube just getting, just beating VFW here at Blackadder Field. You've been watching RTC TV4. I am Becky Malco here with my sister, Abby Malco. Tune in, go ahead. Tune in next time, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good to be out here. RTC TV4.